Let's add a drop down menu to the Squarespace website. Under my Pages menu, I'm going to click the plus sign in my main navigation and scroll all the way down underneath the More section where it says Drop Down. Clicking this option, let's go ahead and label our drop down Services. These are the pages I want to add here my business headshots, brand photo shoot, and my general services page. To put these in my drop down menu, I'm just going to drag and drop them here by holding my cursor down on that page and moving it forward in the menu until it's underneath this drop down. Let's move services up here too. And we can change the title of this page, but only in the navigation. I'm going to click this gear icon and where it says navigation title, I'm going to add the text all services and select save. Now we have a services drop down and underneath that it says business headshots, brand photo shoot and all services. We've successfully created a drop down. Now unfortunately, we can't do much with the style of this drop down with the stuff that's built into Squarespace, but we can use a little bit of custom code. So if you want to learn how to do that, stick with me here. We're going to navigate to Website Tools and select Custom CSS. If you've never added code to Squarespace, you're about to become a coder, my friend. Don't worry, I've typed all this out in the description below. Just follow along while we add this, okay? I'm going to add the text Header Nav Folder Content, and I'm going to open up a curly bracket here to add my custom code. One of the first things I want to do is give it a border, just like the other content on my site. So I'm going to say Border, 1px, Solid, and we'll just make it a solid black color like the other borders on the site. And now that drop down menu has that solid outline to it. Pretty great, right? Now, the next thing I want to do is change the alignment of these links. These links are aligned to the right because my menu is aligned to the right. So let's go ahead and change just the links inside this folder. I'm going to say text align center exclamation point important i had to say important because we're overriding the code that's already there and now it's aligned in the center and you know what let's go ahead and align it to the left we'll go ahead and change that there we go now the last thing i want to do is scoot this menu over right now it's directly underneath services but because i've changed these links to be on the left i think we should scoot this menu over let's go ahead and add a new line and let's say margin right negative 100 px that's going to pull it over to the right hand side of the screen. And there we go. Now, this number is going to be completely different for the size of fonts that you're using and the amount of content in your drop down. So definitely play around with this value until it looks perfect for your own unique website. Maybe negative 20 is as far as you need to go. Maybe negative 150 is perfect for your specific design. Whatever you have in mind, adjust that number. This whole code is underneath the video along with related resources in case you want to learn more about customizing that drop down folder. I'll go ahead and select save and we'll go back to our website menu so we can repeat this process together one more time. Here's what we did. We clicked this plus sign icon and we selected drop down from our options here. That created our drop down menu. We labeled the drop down menu services and then we dragged pages that were here in the not linked section all the way up into services. See how I'm clicking and dragging these around? We also renamed our old services page all services. To do that, we clicked on the gear icon and we changed its navigation title to all services. I'll go ahead and select close. That's how we created a drop down here inside our Squarespace menu. Then we hopped into website tools, custom CSS, and we added a little bit of code to change the style of it. We gave it a border. We aligned the links to the left instead of the right, and we pulled it over to the right hand side of the page. So it was directly underneath services. Totally optional, but a fun way to customize your Squarespace website. You'll find more information about customizing this dropdown with code in the related resources underneath this video. I'm Becca Harping, Squarespace expert and creator of InsideTheSquare.co. If you liked this tutorial, you are going to love my blog. I have hundreds of free tutorials just like this one waiting for you at InsideTheSquare.co. That's InsideTheSquare.co.